Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I will very shortly be attending East 15 Drama School, so I'm moving to London. And basically, I am completely unorganized and I haven't got anything sorted. And so I wanted to take you through the whole process with me from the packing list, like what I need to buy and what I need to like pack with me to take to London. And then like the whole moving process as well. And I'm gonna take you shopping with me because I'm going to Ikea today. I'm gonna write my packing list this morning so that that's all ready before when I go. I feel like it's really important to do what you need to buy before you go to the shops and buy it. So then you're not buying like random things and stuff. Obviously, if you need more things than you thought of, go for it. But I know I have no self-control, so a to-buy list is gonna be really helpful for me for sure. As you probably know, I've been living in Paris for the past year, but I was living with a family, so all my life I've never had to buy things like pots and pans, knives and forks. I'm gonna be buying stuff like that to move. And also it would just be so cool to document this process like for myself as well as you guys. I'm sure like so many of you guys are moving and starting new chapters as well at the same time as me. So it's really cool to do this together. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and let's just get into it. really happy I've got all that sorted I definitely need to write a packing list as well after this but I'm thinking that would make sense to do after I buy all of that stuff because then I write all that stuff down on the packing list as well and it's really good because I've got the little things to take off when I've got them so it's kind of cute in the list I included like places to look for it and actually that's where I was getting my inspiration for what I actually need to buy from for example I went on H&M home and I looked through like the entirety of that website and I was just like uh yeah yeah I definitely will need that moving next year that was really helpful when writing the list of things I feel like that's quite a good little tip I am aiming to buy like as sustainably as possible however I know that if I'm buying something I want this for years to come and so I'm being a bit more like gentle with myself on where I can buy and stuff because I feel like if I bought it all from small sustainable businesses it would be really expensive especially because I need a lot of stuff you know so we're just on the kitchen stuff at the moment I don't really know what size bowl to get this is all quite complicated for someone who's never done like home shopping looking pretty good look at my pretty gold tray smile just found the most beautiful bottles like literally I love that how are we doing mum? We've arrived in the best section. Plants baby. Holy gosh, it's pouring with rain. We had to run to the car, but it's all right. <laughs> A very successful shop. Yeah. Thanks, Mama. It's worth going, wasn't it? Yes. Have I got a haul for you? But we're actually gonna go to Sainsbury's because I think they've got like a Sainsbury's home or like a big home section for Sainsbury's and one near me. So we're gonna go, I think we're gonna get lunch as well. So quite yummy. So I'll give a haul when I'm back. A juicy haul, oh my God. I'm really happy with everything we got, so. Bloody hell, where do I start? I have bought so much stuff today, like, so much. Like, it's actually, I just love my life. I'm just gonna go through all the bags. This is how many bags I have. I have all stuff on the bed. I'm thriving. Firstly, I got this lamp. I've already got a salt lamp, but I wanted like another lamp in my room, just to keep it all bright, you know? love a bright room it's this really gorgeous stone color and then it's got this bulb going in the top of it so it will look like that the stone color is perfect like it will go with everything in my room plus one of these next to it to put a tea light in like how gorgeous i got two tea light holders like that i'm literally obsessed with, like jaddled this plant pot ha like the colors do you see like this color scheme 
Anyway, sorry. So this, like, I'm literally obsessed with this. I just got it because I'm gonna buy myself flowers all the time, I think. They love that. And it's this beautiful blush pink color. And like these together, gold, blush pink, and stone. Mm -mm -mm. And then I just got a like hand towel for the bathroom. Really nice and it feels good quality. I've got a lot of incredible glasses from Ikea. This can be like a little versatile glass because like one, it is a beer glass, but I want this as my drinking glass because it's enormous. Like, good for a beer, good for drinking normal. Yum. Oh my God. And then I got four normal drinking glasses. Like it's got really gorgeous detailing on it. Oh my God, should I show you my other glasses while I'm at it? Because they are like really, the glasses is my favorite part. So I got these ones actually from Sainsbury's when we went after Ikea. Like I just got two because like just little cocktail glasses, but like beautiful. It's like I'm so excited just for like drinks night with me. We've got the wine glasses. Fuck me up. They're literally like the size of my fucking head. Like I love them. They're beautiful. Like tell me these aren't the most beautiful things. Like they're enormous. And then, folks, glass mugs, glass mugs. This is where it's at. This is actually where it's at. I'm literally obsessed. Like how incredible. Me drinking my morning coffee out of this. I'm living my best life. No one can tell me otherwise. And I got a bath mat, but I don't, I don't know if we're already gonna have one, but I just got it just in case. And I got some pots, cause I thought it was really good how they have three different sizes. Like that's really stunning work. And I think it was really cheap. Like I think it was eight or nine pounds. A measuring jug, but it's just like a 500 milliliter one. Cause I thought I wouldn't need any more than that. Got an extension loop, cause I'm not sure how many plug sockets my room is gonna have. And there's two in there. So I thought it's perfect. Cause I have a lot of electrical things to hook up. I just got, it's kind of like Tupperware, like a glass thing. I got two roasting trays. I got this big one from Ikea and this little one from Sainsbury's. I got a lovely sieve. How gorgeous is that? I just think that's so classy. Do you know what I mean? Hello. <laughs> God, I got a saute pan, but how fucking beautiful is this? Like really incredible work. This one is from Sainsbury's and so is the colander sieve thing. So good because it's non-stick and it's just so fresh. You know what I mean? Then I got a spatula and some knives and forks as well from Sainsbury's. I feel like, to be honest, Ikea is great for the home stuff, but kitchen stuff is a lot better, I think, in the Sainsbury's home section. I got a lot of tea lights. Yeah, so I got two of those and tea lights burn really fast. So I thought I'd get a lot of them just to stock up, you know? So these two I got from Ikea. I got a grater because I like the hand ones because then it's easy. Oh my God, a garlic crusher. Like, necessary like, oh my god this is one of my favorite things this gold tray another one of my favorite purchases welcome to the family oh, i love it is a crassula crass crassula tree and it's beautiful isn't it it's like a succulent but it's a big one and then i got some tupperware i just got these from sainsbury's home eco-friendly Tupperware boxes. I got one for like excess food and then one is my lunch box. All of this next stuff is from TK Maxx Home. Got a wooden spoon. I got some tea towels from here because how gorgeous are they? Like, I love those. Sponge brush and holder. All eco friendly. Love that. A tin opener for baked beans, obviously. secured haul from today i got this really pretty cushion i'm pretty sure it's like dog tooth print you think and it's this like pretty forest green color on the back so soft so big so cuddly and i got a wash basket i want my room to be like this color green and like wooden gold vibes like very earthy vibes I thought it was pretty good and i got some lilac hangers because they thought they were beautiful and they're going in my wardrobe so it doesn't necessarily have to fit the color scheme like, that is a very me color as well and i just got a sheet for my bed and a mattress protector as well because i need <laughs> p.m. 
And I've pretty much finished ordering everything. I just have a few things left on my list, but it's chill. I'm feeling so good because I've got everything sorted. My room is a fucking tip though. No idea. Hello, it is three days before I move now, which is really crazy. I have a few things I wanted to do before I move while I'm still at home because, for example, I have a typewriter here and I don't want to take my typewriter with me because it's really fragile and I don't want it to break in the move. Also, I'm not sure that I'll have the space for it, but I wanted to use it before I go because I've been meaning to write letters to my loved ones in France for a while. So I'm gonna write a few love letters. I'm just gonna write them up roughly like a draft in here first in my notebook just so I know what I'm writing on the typewriter because I always feel like a big pressure when I write on the typewriter because obviously it has to be perfect because you can't make any mistakes so I'm gonna draft them now. This is your little reminder to write love letters to yourself and to your loved ones and just tell them how much you love them and how important their presence is in this world because I just feel like it's such a beautiful pick-me-up for both parties you know like for me and them and yeah, it makes me feel really good doing it, so I'm really excited to do that. I just have to put a few more things in there from the bathroom but I'm just about to have a bath so and then I've got the stuff that I need for tomorrow and tonight I'm gonna pack that tomorrow morning and that tomorrow morning and that tomorrow morning and that all of the stuff that's going out to the car now looks like this I moved to Paris I just took the stuff that I really needed but I'm actually taking my entire life and more now which is crazy like I'm fully moving out now Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, my best friend Karis moved yesterday, so I'm just so excited now. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and put that all in the car, and then we are well on our way to being literally finished. J'avais plein de ouf la voiture. C'est incroyable. Désolé, Oh my god. Oh, we've done. So good. It felt like it was a lot more stuff than this. I'm glad it doesn't look like much in my room. Shauna, my best friend who I'm living with this year, and her friend Alec helped me and my mom take all the stuff from the car up to here. And there's so many stairs, but we made it. And I'm really glad that everything's sorted. I can just get organizing now, like where everything's going. And it's actually like bigger than I thought, which is good. So we love. made some lunch. My mum and I just went to Sainsbury's because there's a Sainsbury's right next to us which is so good and she's gone now because she didn't want to hit any traffic but there was already starting to be traffic so she left sadly. I'm fine because I'm having a food break so I'm fucking starving. It is green pea pasta with pesto and fresh tomatoes on top. Mm. But it's good because while I was cooking that I was packing a lot of stuff away and I've pretty much got like most of my kitchen stuff packed away, I'm gonna show you. So this is how it's looking so far. This is gonna be my cupboard, I like decided that. I've already packed two shelves. I'm gonna have this drawer for like pots and pans. The fridge, you know it's mine because there's tofu and spinach and hummus and these two babies. <laughs> Literally best things in the whole world by the way. 